typically when you overswing, two or three things can happen. I'm going to use this wall as my guide, and you can do the same thing, and you'll see what I'm talking about. If you tend to overswing, the first thing that typically happens is this left shoulder, your lead shoulder, will tend to dip down too much. When it dips down, the right hip gets thrown out to the right, outside the right foot a little bit. And then what this causes, it causes the upper body to tilt toward the target, causing me to hit the building. So when I get to the top of my swing, and if it's incorrect, you're going to see my left shoulder and left knee, they're still in alignment. And that usually doesn't work out very well in the golf swing. If I do it properly, I'm going to feel that as opposed to having tilt toward the target, I'm going to feel a little rotation in the chest. I'm going to maintain some width in my arms. Now when I make my back swing, you can see my left shoulder is out turned the left knee. So if I use this club as a guide on my chest, if I do it incorrectly, meaning that I'm going to dip the left shoulder and throw the right hip out, you can see the golf club on my chest works very vertical. It's still perpendicular to the wall. When I do that, that tilts me toward the target, bang, I hit the wall. What we want to feel is put this club in the middle of our chest. We want the club to feel like it is parallel to the wall. And so to do that, I've got to have a little rotation with the upper body. You can see when I make the upper body rotate, the right hip does not give way. And it would look something like this. I feel like the center of my chest is now more or less over my right knee right here. So when I do it correctly, I'm going to feel rotation of the chest. I'm going to feel a little more level turn, not a, not a very vertical turn. And when I do it correctly, you can see my club doesn't really come very close to the wall. Now the other thing that can happen too, for those of you who the arms, once you get to the top of your swing, but the arms kind of keep going, they outrace the body, that's going to make you hit the wall as well. So what I like to feel is I like to feel when the chest stops turning, that's where the arms stop. If I was going to look at this on a clock face, the back swing would be about 10 o'clock. It wouldn't be up here at 12 o'clock. So give this drill a try. Make sure you don't do it near a window. Find a wall. Do it slow at first. Because I think if you do tend to overswing, if you do it a little too quick, you're really going to hit that wall sooner than you think you would. So it's going to give you really good feedback. If I can help you at this or any other part of your swing, please let me know.